Hi, this is Shady. Whatever you train with the right frequency and the right resistance, it's gonna work. And today we're gonna see exactly that. So in today's MMA, you see a lot of Muay Thai and K1 or kickboxing and many other striking forms, but the old stuff, especially the stuff that you see in old Jiu Jitsu is simply not there. You only take the grappling techniques, but today we're gonna see a little bit of old striking of Jiu Jitsu being done in today's MMA. Now, I know this was not strictly coming from Jiu Jitsu, but nonetheless, it is. So today we're gonna be looking at Trevor Peak's last MMA fight. So his striking is impeccable. So see here a downward strike, like a hammer fist down in the standing. Usually uh, hammer fists are done in the ground and pound, but in all of Jiu Jitsu Kata, you see this form of striking in the Tento, this is from the Kodokan production of Nage no Kata. You see here, before you do the shoulder throw, you get this strike being done to you. It's done with uh, earnest intentions and really coming forward with stepping in, much like Trevor Peak did in his fight. And the second one, it's gonna be the hammer fist, but to the temple. So. I think it's the strike that really ended the fight here. You see it as he is coming forward. It hit him very well. And from there, he proceeded to really just end the fight. So this KO was very impressive. And again, it's another strike that you see in old jujitsu. So these strikes that were done were really to get that one hit and just finish off because of that idea of every fight was to the death, especially in Edo period where a lot of the fighting was simply fatal and it's not like today. So this is a little video I wanted to do regarding this topic and uh, it's nice to see these old strikes still being alive and much effective. And again, all these things that already existed, it's not that we stopped doing them because they don't work. It's simply because we're focusing on other things. But again, with the right frequency and with the right resistance, anything can work. I believe Ferguson did some Wing Chun uh, trapping techniques, uh, but here you see the basic strikes of old Jiu Jitsu and found in the Judo Kata, you see them being performed here. So if you have anything else to add, let me know down below. This was Shady and thank you for listening.